Top 10 questions people ask about real estate. Today we're going to be looking at preparing your home for sale. Pretty important. Let's talk about that next. Hey, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here. And today we're going to be exploring that burning question about preparing your home for sale. One of the top 10 questions people ask about real estate. And I want to let you know that you can get your own copy of this guide and all the others in this series um, by going to our website, www.treasurevalleydave.com and um, download your own. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button, share with somebody who needs to see it, and then subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these in this whole series. This is great stuff. So preparing your home for sale. So uh, you probably already know this. You want to declutter and depersonalize. So tidying up, that just makes sense, right? But why would you want to depersonalize it? Well, because we want the buyer to come in and see your house um, kind of like as a blank slate so they can picture themselves living in there. If you have personal things up there, pictures of the your family, not theirs, on the wall, um, things like that, then that's going to like help make it harder for them to see themselves in your house. Therefore, making it harder for to sell your house. Also, if you want to depersonalize by removing, I don't know, like a mounted moose head or something. Now, down here in the flatlands of the valley, yeah, that you'd probably want to take that down. But I think if you're other places like maybe Idaho City or it's like a local ordinance, you have to have one of those hanging up in the front room. I'm not sure. But um, whatever it is that you're trying to appeal to, um, you know, make, make sure you have those things done. Next up is making repairs and updates. So what do we mean by that? So all those little projects that you've been putting off, you want to go ahead and get those fixed. Maybe it's a drippy faucet or some touch up paint here and there. Um, your agent can offer you some professionals to give you a hand. Painters, handymen, things like that. And your agent should also be suggesting to you to uh, perhaps get a pre-listing home inspection. And this is so that you know what all those little hidden things are that really might need to get fixed. Great tip. This is a pro tip right here. This report and the repairs that you've made can be a big value to potential buyers. So, because um, they know that you've had some work done. They know that you've had an inspection. So the chances of, uh, you know, you trying to pull one over on them is kind of greatly diminished. It's like we're just being up front. And then update those things that will make your home feel fresh and again, depersonalized. So the next step is staging the home. So some homes really benefit greatly from being staged. Um, this is when you have a, the home professionally decorated with your items or with temporary items that the stager brings in, such as a couch or beds or tables or pieces of art or lamps. Um, this really kind of shows the buyer what the home could look like and what it could feel like. Um, if your house is already jam-packed with furniture, then the stager might come in and have you remove certain things, but leave certain things, maybe put certain covers over them or throw pillows or things like that. The stagers, they've got the eye to make these places just look absolutely great. Um, staging can be expensive though, and you should discuss this with your agent. If you have just a regular cookie cutter house and your buyers have seen like 80 houses already, Maybe staging isn't where you want to put your money, your marketing money. Maybe you want it in someplace else. But if you have that unique house that you need to teach people what the house could be for them, then staging might just be the answer. A deep clean. Clean everything. Clean where you don't even think people will look because guess what? They will look there. And your agent can offer the services of professional cleaners who do this deep level of cleaning. Um you know, for listings and other things. So they, they have the experience. They know exactly where to clean. And it can be money well spent. Definitely talk with your agent about that. Enhance your curb appeal. So what does this mean? It's like, so when the buyer pulls up in front of your house, um, we want him to feel welcomed and attracted to your house from the very first moment. So trim back the trees, show off the face of the house. Uh, maybe if it's spring, particularly plant flowers that have colors, um, clean up the spider webs that, you know, are up there on the eaves. And this is hugely important too, is make sure that the front door and the porch area are in absolutely perfect condition. Because as the agent's up there messing with the key to get into the house, 
the buyers are standing there just looking around. They've got 30 seconds to kill. They're looking at everything. So make that area just just pop. Um, maybe even paint the front door. Our agent suggested that we do that. And um, our house sold like, like that fast. Who would have known? Your agent would have known. Take professional photos. This is pretty, well, I'm going to I would like to say this is pretty standard, but we do see some agents in there that maybe they're on a budget and they just use their cell phone and take some pictures. Um, and for the right house, maybe that's absolutely fine. But buyers are going to first be introduced to your house from the pictures that they find on Realtor.com or Zillow or, or things like that. And you want those pictures to be just like, just pop. That's where your marketing dollars really need to go to. And when you have these pictures done, make sure that they're honest. And what I mean by that is don't get one of those fisheye lenses that makes a tiny little bedroom look like a mansion because it, you're just going to really turn off the buyers when they get in there. And I think buyers are probably getting a little bit more savvy. So your agent's going to suggest a photographer that can take these nice, honest pictures. And this is kind of nice for the right property too. Just get some drone footage. Um, that can really, you know, highlight some very important areas of your property. Aside from the pictures, what is it that buyers are going to see first thing? They're going to see what the price is. And so this is where you need to set a competitive asking price. This is going to be the, the thing that invites a buyer to look more and to explore your house some more, or just they're going to immediately out of hand dismiss your house and go on to somebody else's. So talk with your agent about coming up with this pricing strategy to make sure your house is priced right. And don't look at Zillow to get your house value because it's going to be wrong. And there's so many reasons for that. I think we cover that in another one of our segments. So be sure to go check that out. Well, that is preparing your home for sale in so many easy steps. And I think it was pretty easy. And I think the main takeaway from this is that consult with your agent. Your agent is going to be invaluable when it comes to offering suggestions on where you should put your marketing money, pictures, fix up stuff, things like that. Well, like I say, you can get this and all of our other um, pamphlets on this uh, top 10 questions people ask. They're all great questions, questions that you probably want the answers to. So make sure you check out our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of them. Well, this is Treasure Valley Dave. As always, looking forward to helping you get home. <laughs>